Now let's uh, take a look at the new generation of the dryers. When we move on to the dryer topic, you know, it comes to my mind from like 100 years ago when some of our uh, pioneers in the industry invented the first generation of this high velocity dryer. They started to use the vacuum cleaner uh, motor. But until today, we're still doing the same thing. Nothing as a real breakthrough. Still using the same motor back to 100 years ago almost. That's a kind of frustrating. As you have, you may remember, you may recall that like four years ago, I told you we started to cut all the steel sheets, to test all the magnetic field strength, everything. We started to try to invent a new generation of the real brushless motor. Now, it comes into reality. It's realized. In this dryer, it's a brand brand new brushless motor. On the previous generations, the average service life is either from 600 to 800 hours. But on the new generation, it's four to 5,000 hours. It's like eight times longer, eight times more durable. Not merely about the motor itself, it also draw a lot less power, like 35% saving for the energy. For the same output of the wind velocity and the wind speed, this one only drives 1.6 horsepower, like 1,600 watts. The other one is driving 2,200 watts, saving about 600 watts. And also we have a new small invention, but very feasible and practical for the either crescent cutting or the pointy angle, the round nozzle. When we get closer, you can see we have all the secret holes. You may be wondering why we have all the openings here. It's because based on the Bernoulli um, principle, we are trying to drive all the airstream inside of the tunnel. And when the high speed stream is traveling from one end to the output, it's going to suck in all the natural air, refresh the cool air from the outside atmosphere, and go through the, the, uh, the gap in between the outer and the internal wall. That's going to generate a natural cooling effect and keep cooling down the whole nozzle where the groomers are gripping, actually. So we have heard of, of a lot the complaints before to say, I'm just like a holding a barbecue machine or something, roasting my hand, roasting my palm, but now it's all gone. It's going to be soft forever. We have done the testing after like 40 to 45 minutes continuously using, even when the hose inside the temperature is over like 65 Celsius degrees. The outside is only like 27 Celsius degrees, like a natural air, like an air conditioning room temperature. And for the reason of making some special, like the cut out like this, it's, it's going to fit all the front and the rear arm shape of the animals perfectly. So only two or three times sweeping like this is going to dry out all the hair and all the water from the limbs, from their legs. And this pointy round nozzle is going to give you the pointing power like an invisible broom. So when you swing it like this, it's like an invisible broom and it goes through the abdominal, the belly part, trying to drive all the water out of the abdominal part, more naturally, more quickly. So that's the new invention of the new brushless dryer. But we're taking advantage of the investment of the plastic housing. So it's not merely for the brushless dryer, also good for the traditional existing 2200 watts uh, aeolian dryer motor and also the 1200 watts dryer, uh, motors. And also this sheath is also good for protecting your front arm from being overheated and being burnt. When it gets closer to your front arm like this, you have no worry. That's long enough to cover 99% of human beings' front arms like this. Good enough.